Hi guys, gonna show you how to do the skimmer now. Here we go. If you don't have a pencil, don't worry. It just helps because you can erase really easily, but you can do this with a pen if you're careful. Rulers are in the bins. You all get one piece of paper. First thing you do, put your name on the paper. Somebody might try to jack your paper otherwise. That's no good. Here we go. Ignore my name now. I'm going to do the measurements. Have this open on your iPad. I'm going to do the main body panel first. If you look, there's a little four there. This side, there's a three, a half, and a half. Three plus a half plus a half equals four. That sometimes gets confusing for people. If you remember the uh, tumble wing, I showed you how to measure both sides to make straight lines. That's what we're going to do right here. Start with zero. Go right to four inches. There's the four inch mark right there. Make a little hashtag. Not really a hashtag, a little dash. And then zero to four on this side. The line on the four is lined up with the paper. There's the zero. Now I'm gonna connect those two. And I'm gonna pretend that I didn't write my name right across the middle there. That's okay. So there's my little dash marks. Nice, solid line. We've started so far. That is four inches. See the four right there, matching the four right there. All right, the next thing is I want to get these half inch marks. I'm going to do them on both sides again. Line up the zero, line up the four. Make a little mark where the half inch is. Over here, make another little mark where the half inch is. Turn around, do it on the other side. Line up the zero, line up the four. Make a little mark where the half inch is. Make another little mark where the half inch is. Now, if you notice here, we've got a straight line for three inches, then a dashed line the rest of the way. At the bottom, straight line for three inches, then a dashed line. That is super important. So I'm going to line up my ruler again, and for the first three inches, I will make that straight line. You don't have to do the noise effects, but they're kind of cool. Then I'm doing a dashed line after that. What you'll learn is in construction, a straight line usually means a cut line, and a dashed line usually means a fold line. And I'm going to do the same thing right down here. From the zero to the three, solid line, and then a dash line. When I said straight line earlier, I meant solid line. A line, by definition, has to be straight. One last thing I'm going to do, and that's this dash line here. Notice it only goes on the inside of the three inch line marks. It doesn't go all the way to the top and the bottom, despite what that little measurement line might be making you think. So right here, where the end of those solid lines are, I'm going to line up my ruler, make another dashed line, and there is the beginning of the body of my skimmer. I've got my four inch line down here, it's straight all the way across. I started measuring from the top of the paper. I went down half an inch, I went up half an inch, I went in three inches here, dash line, dash line, dash line, solid line solid line, solid line. Please note that the top of this paper is this top line. Sometimes people like to start measuring from here and then they move everything down further. Start measuring from the top of the paper. Make that the top of your skimmer. It will make your life a lot easier. Thank you.